Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we're going to do a summary on all grade 10 fractions. Now fractions usually come in two forms multiplication and division or addition and subtraction. When we're doing multiplication we must first see that our style is sorted out which means we must have a plus before a minus or we must have an unknown before known and we must try and get it in alphabetical order. The second thing is we are going to factorize as much as possible using all five concepts that we know. Third, if there is a division sign we are going to swap the right hand side and change it to a multiplication sign. Number four, we are going to cancel wherever we can. Now let's do the following example. x squared minus 7x plus 12 all over x cubed minus 64 divided by 16 minus x squared Okay, divided by x cubed plus 4x squared plus 16x. Now, if you look at this question, you will notice that 16 minus x squared is not in the correct style. We have an unknown before a known. So let's take 16 minus x squared out. If we want it to be unknown before known, we end up with minus x squared plus 16. But now we have a problem with this plus and minus. So we take out a common negative, making this x squared minus 16. Now our style is correct. Then we go on to, to factorize. If we factorize x squared minus 7x plus 12, we have x minus 4, x minus 3. All over factorizing x cubed minus 64, giving us x minus 4 into x squared plus 4x plus 16. Then we're going to multiply. When we multiply, we are going to swap the one on the right hand side of the division. On top we are going to have x cubed plus 4x squared plus 16x all over, <coughs> remember we have changed 16 minus x squared into negative open brackets x squared minus 16. Now we're going to factorize the expression on the right hand side. On the top, we're going to take out a common x. So we've got x squared plus 4x plus 16. The denominator is negative x minus 4, x plus 4. We're going to rewrite the expression on the left hand side. Now that it is all factorized, what we are going to try and do is we are going to try and cancel. Now you can cancel anything from the top with anything from the bottom provided they are exactly the same. So here we can cancel x minus 4 with x minus 4. We can cancel x squared plus 4x plus 16 with the top x squared plus 4x plus 16. Then what are we left with now? On the top we have x minus 3 and x. So we're going to write it as x into x minus 3. And at the bottom we have a minus and then we have x minus 4 x plus 4. Minus 
x minus 4, x plus 4. Now, if the question says simplify, what fractions you have to first factorize. Then once it comes to its simplest form of factors, then only do you start getting rid of the brackets. So on the top, we're going to do the distributive law, which will give me x squared minus 3x. In the bottom, keeping your board mass in mind, you're first going to do the brackets before you fiddle with the subtraction. So what we're going to have is minus open brackets, it's difference of 2 squared, so it becomes x squared minus 16. Now you're going to take this negative in. So our final answer is going to be x squared minus 3x all over minus x squared plus 16. Now if you say why did we factorize it and then come back to the same answer? Many a times in this question you can cancel. Only when you are completely done, then can you get rid of your brackets and say this is my final answer. Remember, fractions is always a type of math that moves against the norm. So when we say simplify in other questions, we mean get rid of brackets. But when they say simplify in fractions, then we first factorize before we get rid of all brackets. Now, addition and subtraction. When we're working with addition and subtraction, we must remember to put brackets around any expression where there are two or more terms. Number two, get your LCD. And remember what you do at the top, you have to do at the bottom. And what you do at the bottom, you have to do on top. It's all about balance. Number five, you're going to simplify and you're going to have it all over the same LCD. So if I've got x squared minus 16 all over 5x minus 20 minus x squared minus 3x plus 2 all over 3x minus 3. Now we're going to first put our brackets around any expression that has two or more terms. When we're doing this, we must remember that our rules for multiplication and division state that we must factorize. If you look only at the first expression, it is a division. So we have to follow the rules of division, which means on top I'm going to make it x minus 4, x plus 4, I'm factorizing all over 5 into x minus 4. Factorizing minus, factorize the top, x minus 2, x minus 1, all over 3 into x minus 1. Cancel where you can. Following the rules of multiplication and division. Now, what do we have? We have x plus 4 over 5 minus x minus 2 over 3. Our LCD is 5 and 3 which is 15. So I'm going to multiply the 5 with a 3 and I'm going to multiply the 3 with a 5. Now once we multiply the top with what's at the bottom and the bottom with what's at the top. We're going to rewrite it over one LCD. Remembering our simplifying means get rid of brackets. So we have 3x plus 12 minus 5x plus 10 all over the same LCD which is 15. If we want to simplify further we've got minus 2x plus 22 all over 15. Thank you for watching this video.